Hi, I'm Mary from ATNTLayoffs.com, and this is a tutorial on how to do sun vectors on Photoshop CS3. Alright, so you're going to go to File, New. Make sure your width is 600, your height is 800, and your background content has to be transparent. Push OK. Alright, then you go up here, and it'll say this paintbrush tool right here. You click it, and then you find a vector brush. You can use any of them you want, but I prefer just a regular straight one for your first time. I'll change your media master diameter to 850. Make sure you have it on the color you want. And then hit it about twice. I got up here to where there's a circle. It might be a triangle or something, but make sure you right click and then hit elliptical marquee tool to make a circle. Then on your keyboard hit delete. And then you deselect it. And then you click new. Always make sure that you have it on continuous and not anti aliase And your tolerance is always 100 like that. Like that looks right now. Alright, now you click every other one. Alright, and then you take your paint bucket tool right here, or it might be your granite tool, just right click and then hit paint bucket tool. Now make sure up here it says foreground and then your mode is normal and your opacity is 100%. Alright, and then you choose another color. I'm going to go with blue and you fill that in. Then you click it or right click and deselect. Now you come down here. You hit this button right here. And that's to create a new layer. It's called layer 2. Alright. Now you're going to want to go back to layer 1. And then hit the transparent part. And make sure you're on layer 1. It also wouldn't do anything. Make sure you're on the transparent part. Go back to layer 2. Choose another color. And then fill it with the paint bucket tool. If So that's what it looks like so far. And then next you take this tool right here. It's called the paintbrush tool. Right here. And then this is a, a slow way if you want to change different colors and stuff like that. Alright, I'm just going to go with this piece. You choose a color, but choose it like a lighter or darker color of the same color you're doing. Let's go back to, I guess I could do layer on. Select it, go to the paintbrush tool, and go like that. Or you can go here and make sure you move it to anti alias like that instead of on continuous. And then you select one, get a color like that. I'm going to go dark. And this is a long way to do it, but Now there is a shorter way. We could do that with the blue. Select the blue. Take your paint bucket tool right here. And then change this to pattern. Choose your pattern out of one of your patterns. I'm going to go with polka dots. And you make that say normal. And you change your opacity to 1 to 50. Somewhere around there. Then you just click. Now you got circles on there. 
it's tons easier that way. And you go back to layer one, or layer two, and you you select the pink part with your wand tool. Then you right click on that and do blending options. Alright, and you're gonna choose something be called a pattern overlay like that. It is going to look bad at first. You're going to change it to something you want. Like I'm going to do zebra. And you can make that dimmer. Something like that. And then you're going to want to stroke it. And you, how do you get it? You check the box and then hit the word. You click the word and then go down to pattern. Make sure you have a line tool here. Like that. And then change your size to 2. Like that. And then if you want to do extras, you do bevel and embossed. Right there. And you can change that to 176 and 67. Then change your size to 9. Or however big. I usually go whatever size looks good. Then you'd go to your opacity to 100. And your opacity to your shadow mode to 100. You could do other things like that, but for now, that is what a vector is like. Right. Now, um, visit AT&T Layouts for more. Hope you've enjoyed it.